Dear colleagues, welcome to my last video for the year 2015. My last to do is to give you a sneak preview on the new user interface of SAP Business by Design, uh, which you will see starting as of the February release 2016. It is the so long promised HTML5 user interface. And as you can see here, if I now check out uh, the latest version of Google Chrome, uh, then you see that I'm recording this video here on 47.0 uh, and so on and so on. And that's the latest currently available Google Chrome release. Um, as you can see, um, we've reworked the user interface, I would call it mildly. Um, and to show you the difference, uh, let's quickly switch back uh, to what you may know. So I'm locked on here in a sales role. I have all of my work centers up here and uh, I have my quick links here and some analytics. That's what you know. If we now look at uh, the new user interface, then you see that we moved the menus to the left. Why did we do that? Simply because the geometry of the screens has changed significantly uh, since 2007. 2007, we had typically the ratio of 44 to 3. Today, we have a typical 16 to 9. So the screen is much wider and it makes a lot more sense um, to use that uh, free space here. The second thing that you obviously see is that we follow the Fiori paradigm, uh, which is the overall SAP design guideline. Um, so we have the tiles down here and uh, we will have more of that uh, once we are ready to go. If we drill into any of the areas here, let's say, let's go into the sales orders, then the first thing that you will see are the overview screens, but this time with tiles. If you now click on such a tile, the sales orders, then you see a fairly familiar environment. Um, so we haven't changed the fundamentals of the navigation. You have here the list of all of the sales orders. If you want to sort them ascending, uh, then that is the way how you do it. And if you are interested in this order 447, because it's 1.3 million, and you want to know a bit more about it, you click on the link and the system retrieves the corresponding information for you. Uh, so we've sold a lot of the boilers. Uh, that's the reason why this deal is so big. And if we want to know whether it was a profitable one, then we click on view all. The system gives us the general information. It gives us the, the items, pricing and invoicing. And here we can see, yes, it was a highly profitable order for us. Uh, so we should have more of them. We can look at the involved parties. Uh, we can look at the document flow and the system retrieves now all of the information that it has about this order. If we want to see who changed this order, uh, we can click on go and we get the information on who applied which changes. Attachment and output history would be exactly the same thing. Uh, if we go back to the document flow, we can obviously navigate from here also in the delivery area. And as you probably will agree the user interface is uh, nice and fast so we were able to reduce the rendering time quite a bit uh, let's see uh, how the final version then will look like so we try to keep uh, the payload on the line uh, fairly low or as low as we can but we will stick with the user interface as you know it uh, one more thing and that's really work in progress uh, if we go back here um, and look at the sales orders and go to the overview screen, then the system uh, retrieves all of the tiles again <clears throat> down here. No, this is not the final proposal on how we will do analytics. Um, what we've done here, as in, let's see if it's an interim solution. If we pick one of the reports, for example, sales order volume, we've borrowed the um, analytical pattern from our friends from cloud for customer um, and here you start the report and the system uh, gives you a nice graphical representation you can switch here uh, between the different representations if you say um, i'm not that much interested in the breakdown per month 
but I'm more interested into an ABC classification and I want to see the number of accounts or the accounts that I'm doing business with and maybe I want to see one last thing that is the sales order. Uh, latest by then the pie chart is not the perfect representation so we switch back to a table view and um, if we want to analyze now here a specific order good then as you know I can use uh, the navigation and navigate directly to that sales order. That much as a short introduction to SAP Business by Design HTML5 user interface and what you can expect from us in 2016. As I said, uh, we will have a first beta, sh beta shipment uh, for customers with a new user interface uh, in the February release. For those who ask, well, why can you do it that fast and, and why didn't you do it before? Uh, the answer is relatively simple. Business by design uses a model-driven user interface. So when I convert one of these tiles from Silverlight to HTML5, then all tiles on all screens automatically work. The second thing which plays in my direction is SAP has heavily invested in the UI5 HTML5 library and I can reuse that one now. Last but not least, SAP has also pushed hard and pushed hard uh, for a consistent Fury UI and obviously now we can take all of these advantages and come up with a business by design which is even more beautiful than what we had with that. With that having um, shown you the new version um, let me wish you all the best for 2016. Looking forward to staying in contact with you and also on behalf of the entire development organization. Thanks a lot for your support. Uh, we count on you also in 2016. And with that, have a happy 2016.